if you uh, look at the usage, what we call a mobile device, uh, what Glenn was just talking about, two-thirds of the use is done in the home. What is it, half the people don't have a wired line anymore? 80% uh, of the data is consumed over Wi-Fi. Radio, two-thirds of the use is actually consumed out of home. Uh, it is an out-of-home device. It has always been a mobile device. There used to be a day in which we had small transistor radios. I have one in the 1960s. It's back. It's called the cell phone. Uh, it's called the mobile phone. It is that device now that the consumer actually thinks about that device as a, as a portable radio. They have a clock radio. They have a bathroom radio. They have a kitchen radio. They have a car radio. They have an office radio. And now they have a, a, a radio in their pocket. We consider ourselves, and, and internally, as we program and as we talk to our advertising partners and our, and, and, and our other partners, we think about ourselves as part of the mobile universe. And the promise of mobile from an advertising standpoint and a promotion standpoint is that we're finally able to talk to the consumer closer to the point of purchase. And if you look at the statistics, 49% of Americans listen to the radio within 30 minutes of shopping. The next largest is outdoor at about 22%. So we're able to finally deliver that, and in our case, deliver it at scale. Q1 of this year, Nielsen put out their total audience report. TV used to be the reach medium, 95% reach of homes in the US. It's dropped to 87% in Q1, and among millennials, it dropped to 75%. One out of four don't watch TV. It's number three behind radio and smartphone. On the other hand, radio was always 93%, 1970. This year, 93%. With millennials, 93%. Smartphone is, seems to be taking a lot of the usage from TV, and it's really swapping places with TV in that mix. And I think that is, uh, to me, a fascinating phenomenon. Who has reinvented how we do marketing and advertising using all these devices. Because I think gone are the days when I say, I'm going to buy some TV, I'm going to buy some radio, I'll buy some newspaper, I'm going to buy this, and I've got my plan. That it's really about, I need to do something with the consumer, and I need to do all this stuff holistically all connected. So I think the people who are doing it best are the folks who really look at this opportunity and say, okay, I need to connect with that consumer. In our mind, in advertising, I don't think you ever sell anybody anything. I think you connect people who are interested to the product they're interested in. Yep. You're helping them find each other. I, I think with mobile, it is, I think, the direction it's already headed, which is mobile becomes the device in which we pull it all together, that I'm able to do all the things I want to do right here. You know, in the early days of AOL, I think we missed the importance of mobile for video because we couldn't see the bandwidth that bandwidth was going to be there. there. Yep. And we also thought, well, why is, who's going to listen, look at this small thing? But the thing that has ruled every business I've ever been in is not size or quality, I hate to say it. It is convenience. And it is easier to just pull the thing out of my pocket and look at it than it is going to another room. My children in my house will not yell, Dad, they will text me. And I go, I'm right in the next room. Just yell at me. I can He's hear you. House, uh, I'm an old guy. <laughs> um, and I think we're changing behavior dramatically. And I think we're on a really interesting path. And I think this increasing uh, speed, bandwidth, and convenience is leading us to a fabulous new world. We try and talk about sort of you know, VAI, video audio image, and is each of those interactive? And it shouldn't be about, I'm going to buy some radio, or I'm going to do a mobile campaign. A mobile campaign is a nonsense because most people are mobile all the time. Right. It's like the oxygen that fuels the system. So I think for advertisers, certainly for agencies and for, for sellers of media, we've actually got to change the way we think about those conversations.